I can read you the way the Julia Blake, a stay-at-home mother of six, sees it. A jumbo mortgage should be for a luxurious home, not for the fixer-upper she and her husband bought in this Boston suburb for six hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. They put down about two hundred thousand and financed the rest. It's twenty-four hundred square feet for the eight of us, so I don't consider it extravagant. But you know, here we are in jumbo in jumbo loan territory. And that means paying higher mortgage rates, a growing problem in expensive housing markets like Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago and Boston, which need relief the most. Last week's national average for a 30 year fixed jumbo mortgage, mortgages 417,000 and higher on average was 6.88 percent, 30 percent higher than the rate for a conventional loan. Julia would like to refinance the 490000 remaining on her mortgage at the lower conventional rate versus what she has been paying. She'd save $300 a month. What happens in high-cost real estate areas like this suburb outside Boston has an impact throughout the housing market. Think of it as a domino effect. Traditionally, jumbo rates are only about a quarter point higher than conventional loans, but the credit crunch widened that gap because many banks are now cautious about backing large loans. So when jumbo rates are high, buyers hold off, dragging down home prices and the rest of the economy. But there may be relief in sight. The new stimulus law raises the ceiling for some jumbo loans in high-priced areas to $729,000 in the most expensive markets and to $523,000 in the Boston area. The result? more people like Julia may be eligible for lower interest rates. I really think I would just sleep better at night knowing we had that much more room in the budget. Julia may decide to refinance if the new limits mean she and her family will no longer be left out of the lowest mortgage rates in decades. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, Wellesley, Massachusetts.